Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this review might just be the mark of the beast. We have a glorious mouse that is actually good. This is going to be a review of the Model D2 Pro, the 4K slash 8K edition, though I cannot get the 8K to actually work in wired mode, but that doesn't significantly detract from the mouse. There's my alarm that's set way too fucking late. Um, but yeah, this is... The Model D2 Pro, which I did buy with my own money. Glorious still does not like me. But yeah, I just copped this on Amazon. I decided not to go for the Model O2 Pro because I just fucking hate that shape. And I figured this stacks up better to um, some of the top ergos on the market. So I just wanted to check this one out first. Um, but there probably will be a Model O2 review at some point. But yeah, this is really the first major mouse release that Glorious has done where they really have not shot themselves in the foot with something. Like, the last generation of mice, they were trying to appeal to everybody. There was RGB, they were too heavy. But it seems like they have actually made, like, an enthusiast-level mouse. So yeah, I'm gonna get started with the build quality, and the shell on my unit feels exceptionally good. You guys don't realize how much time off-camera I've spent squeezing this. Like, come on, prove me wrong. Fucking creak, flex, like, something. But no, it actually feels really well built it does not feel as premium at, and solid as something like the vaxi outset ax which like you could do some real damage with but compared to my faker death adder v3 pro which used to be my main and is now one of the most disgusting perhaps the creakiest mouse i've ever had it is definitely nicer feeling than that but do note that came after months of use so yeah, I gotta say, I am impressed by the way this mouse feels. The only remnant of, I don't even know if that's the right word, but the only thing that could potentially be seen as a build quality issue is if you click at the top of the clicks. I'm saying like your finger is hanging off the mouse. It just does feel very crunchy and just like a poor kind of sticky click. Um, but me, you see where I click it, definitely lower on the shell and it is perfectly fine. Like the optical switches are really light, spammable. I'll get to them in more detail, but um, as you can see, there's like no side to side play. There's not significant pre or post travel. Um, just, I don't know what they did. It's like maybe they poached some other company's mouse team. They just decided to take this release serious, but this is a lot fucking better than it's ever been before. And if you're looking for something in like the larger ergo EC2 clone type of market, I mean, this just has to be one of the mice you're considering, despite the fact it comes from Glorious. And I know, like, if I'm obviously like, biased against Glorious, but yeah, no shit. They have like a three and a half year track record of putting out subpar mice. So mm -hmm. I am going to be very surprised when I have something in hand that pretty much stacks up to the Razer Death Adder V2 v3 pro so yeah when it comes to weight it is going to be two grams lighter um but it is also a slightly smaller mouse i will show a top down shape comparison i recorded it beforehand so you guys can see that but yeah overall this is just a really nice mouse and i think if you're considering one of the newer lighter ergos between the death air v3 lamzu thorn x light v3 it's really gonna be a toss-up i definitely will make a more in-depth like ergo comparison um but yeah definitely for me compared to mice like these aoi ec2 and even the outset ax um it's just a lot lighter i prefer the 4k polling i know there's a big debate over whether people can notice better tech in mice but um i think glorious's implementation is extremely what good the first day i got this mouse it was really choppy and bad but then i saw other reviewers mentioned uh, that they did a firmware update, and I did run into some issues there. The wireless bricked, um, the firmware update failed, and I had to delete and reinstall the software for it to actually go through. So if anybody runs into that, reinstall the software, because you can't update it once it fails in the original software. So... Um, yeah, that was kind of a headache the first day I got this mouse, but ever since then, it has been performing flawlessly. One thing to note is that the battery life does seem really shitty. Like, it has just randomly died on me a few times. Obviously, using 4K, it's going to be worse, but I don't think there's any type of LED indicator on the top of the mouse. So you will have to, like, have an idea of where your battery's at on the software, because I think the only LED is this DPI down here. And who's going to, like, pick up their mouse and be like, huh, what's, is this flashing for my battery? I don't even know if it fucking does that. Um, but yeah, definitely do want to charge this like probably every other night if you're going to be using it on 4k if you don't want it to just like randomly die or just charge it for like 15 minutes when you go to eat or something i do not know but these are things to note um something like the side buttons are just very solid i don't know i i transitioned like i really had something to say but these just perform very well in fortnite i definitely prefer them to the lambzu thorn side buttons you can just see they're so 
the thorns are high up on the mouse. I mean, these look high up as well. Never mind. Maybe I don't really have a point. But the Lamzu thorn, it just, I hate the shape. I'm going to talk about it more in the Outset AX review because I think there's more of a comparison to be made. But yeah, really just how aggressive the thumb flare is. The fact that I just feel like my palm is stuck. Like, I just don't have anywhere to, like, move it around. It's just a super awkward shape for me. And I have to, like, definitely move my fingers out of the way to hit the side buttons. With the Model D2 Pro, I guess the way I grip it, I'm just naturally closer to the side buttons. And it feels like there isn't as much like girth at this part of the mouse so it just fits in my hand nicer for claw grip really if you've been able to grip an ec2 death adder v3 i mean anything pulsar x lay anything in this fucking style of shape you're going to be perfectly fine with the model d pro so yeah this definitely is not my favorite ergo in hand that probably would go to the death adder v3 pro i just prefer the shape but this is very easy natural safe like i don't have any problems whatsoever with the shape Whereas mice with like the outset AX design, Lambsu Thorn, they're just like too high profile and like stubby and for me. But some people obviously ride and die by their ergo shape. So I'm just saying Model D2 Pro, it's good enough for me. Um, the weight balancing is solid. Like sometimes depending on where I grip it, like if I grip it a little bit up, it'll look super fucking back heavy. Um, so yeah, it is more or less well balanced especially like when you're making palm contact you're not going to notice any type of weight balancing discrepancy um so yeah i can definitely say that there's not going to be like weight in the back of the mouse like tugging it along and yeah overall the other features on this mouse i don't really have too much to note about um the scroll wheel is the same as glorious wheels always have been and it, that is perfectly fine the skates were surprisingly smooth on some pads like on something like the Hayatoyotsu mid which I was using it did not pick up any of the texture whatsoever so obviously the edge rounding is solid um they're pretty thick like these are good enough to the point you don't need to replace them but yeah I just found it weird how smooth they played on some textured pads on something like uh, game sense radar like this it is going to play controlled but like perfectly fine yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I just want to talk a bit more about the clicks now. Obviously, these are going to be optical switches. I believe they're the same optical switches that Pulsar used that Lamzu put in the Thorn. I don't know if they're the same as Razer, um, but just since the shells are designed in a similar way, they do have a, like close tactile response to the Death Air V3 Pro's opticals, um, but if anything, I would say they are a bit lighter and more spammable. You see the plastic used for the um, click piece is a bit thicker. That's just something I feel like it's higher quality. It might just be like placebo. Is this like or like a little dense on my mouse? Have I like slammed into my keyboard too much? Maybe. Um, that's another thing though. The coating of this mouse is the same as before. So it is like that textured plastic from Glorious. It's not going to be a rubberized coating. So it definitely does put it in a different category from some of the more premium rubberized coating mice that are on my desk. Um, but honestly, like it has not performed bad with sweat. It hasn't felt like loose in my hand. I've been able to keep a solid grip of the mouse. So this is something that I would say is like, it's just okay. Hey, obviously there are nicer coatings on the market, but it's not as bad as like the smoothed out slippery Chinese plastic. It's nowhere near that bad. And of course, if you do want, I'm sure there is grip tape available for this mouse. But yeah, the click feeling all around is solid. I will do a sound test of all of the buttons. One of the things I find weird is that there's a DPI button on top of the mouse. Those have like gone extinct when it comes to new mouse releases, but Glorious is still standing strong with this. I really don't know why they could not have put a button on the bottom of the mouse, but such is life, you know. Uh, maybe there's room for a weight reduction for moving the DPI button. Uh, but I think that is going to be about all for the review. I think I covered most of the features. And obviously, I mean, based on the vibe, this is going to be the first Glorious mouse with the seal of approval. I mean, that is, it's a crazy moment in time. I, I don't even know what to say for the rest of the video. I could just end it here. I mean, a glorious mouse that I am recommending. And yeah, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that this outclasses other ergos on the market. I mean, every mouse you're seeing on my desk, you could prefer it over the D2 Pro, but I feel like you can't really say it's not in the conversation unless I just got a unit that was picked directly by God himself. I mean, this is a pretty solid mouse. And at $130, like with an all-in, like 4K dongle included, I just feel like, yes, it's a high price for a gaming mouse. They have the 1K version at $100 if you do want something cheaper. Um, but that's just really not a bad price. Like, think about the price of a Razer mouse, $150 plus the dongle. Um, G Pro Super Light 2 is $150 for 2K Hertz. Some of the cheaper, like, Lamzu Pulsar mice are around, like, $115 before shipping when you get 
a 4k dongle as well so i just think it's like all around a solid product i'm gonna keep it on my desk especially with um other ergos coming out and i'm gonna see if this mouse holds up over time because i have truly been shocked um since putting my hands on it pretty much so that's gonna be all for this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed if you can't believe it if you have any other questions if you think i'm not real let me know in the comments below um but yeah that's gonna be all peace out